Well, we are approaching the peak of hurricane season and our most accurate weather team is keeping a close eye on the tropics. That's right. Something new developing in the eastern Atlantic is called a cold pool. Mm. This is near the equator. Meteorologist Lee Southwick explains what it is and if it has any sort of impact on hurricane season. You've likely heard us talk about La Nina and how we're expecting that this year and how that usually means more hurricanes. La Nina is colder than normal water in the Pacific. But what you may hear about soon is something called Atlantic Nina. It's a similar phenomenon. It's cooler than normal waters in the Atlantic, the eastern Atlantic near the equator. Why is this happening? Well, we have something called the Intertropical Convergence Zone, the ITCZ, and it's a band of showers and thunderstorms near the equator. And what those storms do is it pulls the air towards it, so the wind is moving to the north. It's blowing those warmer sea surface temperatures to the north, and therefore replacing those warmer waters as they move to the north is the colder water below it's called upwelling. So it's not uncommon for it to actually be colder in this area of the Atlantic this time of year. But what we want to know is, is it going to become an Atlantic Nina? If it holds cold until the end of August, it could be called that. And well, does that impact our hurricane season? Well, the opposite of Atlantic Nina is Atlantic Nino. It's warmer waters in that area, and that is known to create stronger storms near the Cabo Verde Islands. What we want to know is if the Atlantic Nina, the opposite, will inhibit the development of stronger storms starting near these islands. And unfortunately, we actually don't know the answer. If we look to the past, there have been La Nina years with Atlantic Nina years that are very active. And we also have some that are less active, so we will have to wait and see and you know we will be watching it. Now there's some interesting facts when it comes to what's happening here and something that we haven't ever seen before. For more information on that, head to firstcoastnews.com. I'm meteorologist Lee Southwick. First Coast News on your side.